in this breaking story. Sean? Susan James Heupel's brief stint at the helm of the Illinois Supreme Court is over tonight. After being censured by the Illinois Courts Commission earlier in the week, Heupel says he wants to free the court from any further controversy and he intends to step down. He does, however, plan to keep his seat on the bench and Representative Gwen Klingler, who had initiated the investigation into his actions, says this is the first step toward bringing this whole fiasco to an end. I think it was appropriate that he stepped down as Chief Justice. His actions um, in his tenure and in the recent months have really caused a great deal of concern about the Supreme Court and a great deal of disregard uh, for the Supreme Court and the opinions that it issues. Um, however, I don't believe that this would affect the investigation that's ongoing. One political analyst says even though Hypo remains on the bench for now, this is the start of the end. Uh, it means that uh, it, would, it has no impact on, on his tenure in terms of he has two more years left on his term. And my assumption is that he would not run for retention. He would have to file for office and get a 60 percent favorable vote. So his judicial career, career is over at this point. Governor Edgar's office has declined to comment tonight, but Lieutenant Governor Bob Custra says this is a good move. And I'm quoting here, although I would have preferred that he stepped down entirely from the court, the fact that Justice Heupel did this does send a signal to the people of Illinois that there is some accountability in our judicial branch of government. House Minority Leader Lee Daniels says he thinks this was the right thing to do. He says the controversy surrounding Heupel was running the risk of affecting the work of the court. Susan? Well, Sean, what is the procedure now for selecting a new Chief Justice? Well, the Constitution doesn't state anything either way on that. In the past, they've gone on a seniority-type system, and if they do that in this case, Justice Charles Freeman would take over, and that is likely to be the first order of business when the court convenes next week. All right, Sean, thank you. The news starts now.